In this third method for tracing from a photograph, uh, I'm going to use this tool, uh, this one here. It's called the, uh, the Bezier Curve Tool. Now, I haven't quite mastered it yet, so just bear with me. And there's a little bit of setting up if you're going to use this tool. I'll just give you a very crude um, way of the way it works. So I'm just going to click, single clicks give you straight lines. Pressing and dragging gives you curved lines. And then when you go back to the beginning, it fills the shape. Now, if it doesn't fill the shape for you, just go to the two options and make sure that you tell it here uh, under fill that you want to fill it with the foreground color. And then I've got the outline as no outline. So just always check that to make sure it's set up correctly. So I'll just do that again. Uh, with that tool, you do single clicks for straight lines. And then if you want to do a curve, you just press and drag, press and drag, press and drag, and then back to the start and you get that funny shape. All right, so let's just undo that. Now, this is the tricky part. You don't just create a new layer when you're using this tool. You have to create a vector layer. So you'll have to go to this little arrow um, and bring up a pop-up menu and choose vector layer. The layers that we've been using up to now are just paint layers. But if you choose a vector layer, this is when you can use this tool. So, okay, we've got the tool ready. We've got our vector layer, and we're gonna start from here, and I'll just do some single clicks. Um, I can do press and drag and get some curves going, but I'm just going to do this very quickly for the sake of the video. And then when I get to the outside working area, it's just straight down, straight down and straight up, and then this will close. And you can see it's not perfect, but this is when you can edit it. Now, the editing tool is this one up here. So as soon as you've created your shape, if it's not exactly how you want it, you can click on the editing tool, click on the shape, and you get these little nodes. So I'll just zoom in to show you. So with these nodes, you can actually move the line. See how I'm moving the line? And I can clean it up a little bit. And under, um, under tool options, you can actually turn a straight line into a curved line. So if you wanted this one to be more bendy, you click on that icon, and then you've got more of a bendy line. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole mountain, but yeah, you can then edit it. Once you're happy with the way it looks, you can then go back to layers and you can convert that layer. I'll show you where you go. You can convert that layer to a paint layer. And then you've got your shape. So that's another method that you may, may, may not or may wish to use.